Okay, we're at um, Copper Mine Creek. We've just come through some really down that track there. Just come down that track and had to cut some sort of small tree trunks and stuff off the um, off the track. Lucky I bought that small chainsaw. Anyway, we're about to head up Cop Mine or head down Cop Mine Creek and see how we go. Full of full of these big man ferns. Just here is a an old mine, and the creek is actually flowing into the old mine. We certainly won't be going into there today. Pretty amazing, really. Hey. No, Dave's just dug up an, an old axe head here in the bottom of the creek. And, uh, yep, there it is there. Pretty warm out actually. <laughs> I reckon that's been here for a long time. Oh, there's a man fern. And back to the creek. And if you're wondering where the creek came out, it comes out again. It comes out from here. From that little that little attic probably comes out from in there. Well there's, an, there's another little at it. Yeah. So, yeah, that's where it's out of and it's probably just full of water. Yeah, we um we think they probably diverted this creek. I guess it's um they did this on purpose, they diverted for some reason. Maybe they had a dam here. That, that's probably an adit coming out of the, um, uh, the mine up the hill. Just coming over here and having a look at this. Dave dug this up. It's a, um, an old flange, so this is, well, it's close to 150 years old. And it was down a long way too. It was down about two feet in the old scale. So they must have been pumping water out of their mine. straight down. I can see water down there. Um, this wouldn't be visited very often at all, I don't think. There it is there. There's another view of it. And ferns growing out the side of it. This looks like a an old um an old pick head.
another spike. We find these all the time. I think they're for splitting wood or rock. One of the old tree stumps that was left behind by hand filling. They've cut a notch into that. Rectangular, isn't it? Yeah. I noticed this um, bright yellow worm. I thought it was a piece of plastic at first, so I picked it up, and it's actually alive. It's a some sort of earthworm. Okay, there's the creek, and that's how dense it is here. It's been really hard work getting through this today. Um, I haven't fallen in the creek yet, but anyway, what we've got here is, this is dug out of the rock, and it's like a little room. Um, and it's not, it's not far above the water level of the creek. We don't know how, how often this creek will flood, but um, Found some relics. We've now got two bottles instead of one. And Dave found a found a hinge. An old hinge. So this little room sort of thing here may have had a door on it. Inside inside that little rock room. Dave found what looks to me like an old tobacco tin. That's what I reckon it is. I think it's an old tobacco tin. Okay. Yeah, Dave's been finding all this um, ferrous material here. Don't know what that thing with all the holes in it is. It looks pretty old. Um, an old shovel there. And an old um, ceramic saucepan or kettle. Not sure what. It was all in the same area here. Um, we'll leave all this stuff here. What we have here is a giant tree. I don't know if you can see the top of it. It is really big and I'm underneath it. It's huge. And it's just five metres from the creek. There's another one there. There's another one there. They are huge. They're huge trees. I mean, I'm pointing this thing directly vertically at the sky to see the top of these trees. That's how big they are. Here are the um, iron pyrites, some of the iron pyrites I picked up yesterday um, at the Pandora mine site. Um, that's what they look like. And, uh, coming back found that I destroyed a destroyed a tire um, was the it was that tire back tire and um, I think a branch or something had 
had, had pierced the side wall of this, so um, I'm going to have to get that fixed. Anyway, here are the rocks that I brought back, and it, it was a good day. The visit to the Pandora site was just excellent.